guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to package pin mail. So I thought this would be a fun video to do, considering I've been packaging a lot of pin mail recently, um, on how to package pin mail um, properly, just so that it sends out and the pin arrives safely. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need is definitely some bubble mailers. Um, they have both have a bubble liner in them, but you're also gonna need some bubble wrap to wrap the pin in. Some tape. Um, I actually have both shipping tape and regular tape. Um, obviously the pin, and this is the pin I'm using. And then um, you can, you have the option of printing your shipping labels at home or printing them on the go. I print mine at home personally, so I have a scale. And then I have shipping la pa label paper to put on. Um, but I'm just going to go through how I package my pin mail and some of the different add-ons that I put in my pin mail. So I have my bubble mail right here and this piece of bubble wrap. Um, I have a lot of pre-cut pieces of bubble wrap um, from previous um, thing that I like ended up with a bunch of pre-cut bubble wrap, so I just keep using that. Um, so I'm taking my pin and I like to stick it through the bubble wrap and then take a pin back um, for it and stick it on the other side. So I'm just going to take the pin back, um, I stick that through the other side so that the post is through the bubble wrap, keeping it nice and secure. I then wrap it up and roll it all the way up through the bubble wrap so that it has a nice good amount of bubble wrap, like two or three sheets of bubble wrap on each side of it. And then I take some small pieces of tape and just close off the bubble wrap just in case for some reason if it came loose, nothing was to fall out. So it just keeps the bubble wrap nice and secure around that. And that's the first thing I'm gonna need. Um, I always throw in one of my business cards. Um, this is, uh, it at least has my YouTube, my Instagram, and my Facebook group on it. Um, I do also have uh, my ER group, but I don't have that listed on my business card just based on when I made it. And I put a little note on my business card. So I usually write thank you for your purchase or thank you for the trade for your purchase. Enjoy your pin. Dash Carly. Just like to like add a little note. So I have that. Usually for purchases, I just do this. Um, but I just was gonna show you what I usually do for trades. Um, and if I, if like um, a fellow YouTuber or a friend um, that I'm doing a trade or pickup or whatever for, I usually do this too. So I usually throw in a park map. And I throw in a few pieces of Mickey confetti. I have a bunch of Mickey confetti, so I like to throw in a few pieces of that. Um, if it's just more of a special occasion, if I'm just doing like one pin for some random person, I usually don't. But thought I might as well do it right now to show you guys how I usually do it. So when I package them like this with the map, I usually put everything in the middle of the map and roll the map around it. So I'm just going to wrap the map like this and around it like this. And then I stick it in my bubble mailer. Um, I have a small bubble mailer. Um, I'm not sure exactly on the size, but this one holds like up to like four or five pins um, And then I have some bigger ones for like pins on cards and stuff like that um, But this is a pretty solid size bubble mailer for most of the trades um, and purchases that I end up doing for sales um, So this is perfect for that and the label fits perfectly on the front of it I then take the little pull tab on it and I pull that off and close it up I then add I like to add a little bit of packing tape so I pull off a piece of packing tape, I end up cutting it down the middle, and then I put one on each side just so that nothing's going into the flap and we know the flap is secure. So I wrap it, take it around the back and I wrap it around the front. So that's all set to go. The next thing I will do, just to show you, I know generally when you buy one pin um, shipping, you're under four ounces but there is I do have this nice scale I used to have another scale it was kind of crappy um, and ended up dying on me pretty easily but I do really like this scale it wasn't that much on Amazon so you just turn it on um, it has a little screen in front of me for weight and then I put it on here and this is 1.5 if you're below four ounces it's all the same price um, online so I always just put online that it's four ounces just in case to cover any additional weight that might have not been calculated on my scale versus that so I usually just put the weight on it and then I add um, the person's name I'm not gonna put that on there right now for you to see but I'm just gonna put um, I'll put stitch because that's the pin and I know what that means um, so that's what I usually do and then I'll show you my printing labels so you can see that so these are actually half sheet ones I do have full sheet ones but once I use one side um, they do have like a fold down the middle so they become it's two per sheet um, and I literally just stick this in my printer I go onto PayPal, ship now, um, and print off a shipping label. It does um, come with tracking. I send it first class with tracking um, so that you have that avail 
available in a package with a side it automatically comes with tracking through USPS um, so I print that off and attach this to this so you can send it off you can do the exact same thing for a trade you just go on type in the person's address um, and send it off that way I think that's perfect both for purchase and trade it's a little cheaper than going to the post office so literally like every four packages you're saving a package price it's that like different there's like a buck difference um, doing it here versus at the post office so you definitely save some money if you, especially if you're shipping a lot so I do that and send this is all ready to send out I'll just go downstairs print it off and I'll put this in my pile to ship out and all I do is bring it to the post office you don't even have to go into the post office I just stick it in the little bin outside the post office so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and it was a little informative on how I package my pin mail and how you could pack it safely package yours um, if you have any questions or any tips that you do differently let me know in the comments down below I'd be happy to help you out with those um if you guys enjoy disney content disney pins definitely hit the subscribe button turn the bell i do have a live sale coming up on wednesday on my instagram so definitely check that out if you're interested in purchasing any pins and i'll see you guys later bye